Here is another slice of a thyroid and you will soon see that when we zoom in. But this thyroid, uh, perhaps like the other thyroid we just saw, was enlarged. The normal weight of a thyroid is about 12 to 25 uh, grams. Of course in old age the normal weights are a lot generally lower because the thyroid uh, involutes. But uh, by definition, an enlarged thyroid in a uh, young adult would be something generally over 25 grams. This one was enlarged as well. It's not enlarged because the follicles are enlarged. In fact, up here you could see the follicles are very small. There is just tiny amount of colloid in every follicle. These are This thyroid is enlarged with small follicles. In addition, I want to point out something. There's a concept here I want to show you because it's one of the uh, consistent findings in uh, hyperthyroidism is that if you notice the colloid substance itself seems to have little open spaces along its edge like here and kind of like a scalloping effect. This is uh, called scalloping and it is very very commonly seen in hyperthyroidism. Notice the colloid is not nice and round, it has jagged or scalloped edges. And the reason why there is perhaps a smaller amount of colloid in this thyroid than usual, whereas the colloid goiter in which there was no hyperthyroidism had increased amounts, the reason why this has decreased amounts is because it's being turned over faster. The common denominator of all hyperthyroidism is that the gland pumps out more T3 and T4 uh, hormone. Hyperthyroidism can be treated in a variety of ways. Uh, some In the old days, surgery was often used. There are a whole variety of compounds now of which um, uh, called anti-thyroid drugs. And of course, radioactive iodine is still a very, very uh, popular method for treating hyperthyroid as well. Here are some uh, follicles in which are, are more normal in size, but notice they're scalloping here too. That's one of the most classical signs of hyperthyroidism. And of course, even though this gland is very, very active and there's a lot of cells, uh, it is by no means uh, malignant. And it is very rare for uh, thyroids which are uh, hyperactive to have malignancy in them. Thank you very much.